up? Hold on, I'm gonna call Chris. Stan, yo, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. <sighs> what you niggas want, man? Man, shut up, man. Man, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Every time you're on the phone, you always got something to say. Talking shit, Joe and the rest of the guys, nigga. Man, why are you two always arguing? Damn, I am not wasting my money just to listen to you two niggas bitch around like little girls. I might fuck you, dude. Nobody told your ass to get a cheap ass phone plan anyway. Whatever, nigga. Let me tell you why I'm calling. Y'all listening? Yeah, man. Hey, what's up? I broke it off with chick, man. Hey, man, who gives a shit? I broke up with three bitches last night. Whatever, let me tell my motherfucking story. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, then, man. All right, check this. You know this is fine, right? I mean, right. real sick. Mm -hmm. Fucking freaky as hell, right? All right, I see. I've been fucking with this girl for, like, I don't know, two, maybe three months at the most. Now this bitch tripping, saying she pregnant. Oh, man. Congrats, nigga. Man, fuck you, Stan. Anyway, this girl trying to tell me it's mine now, but... <laughs> the crazy thing, this bitch is already showing. I mean, you know me. You know me. I was checking that stomach out from jump. It's just... It's just I, there's, no, there's no way that this is mine. It's just can't be. I'm telling you, man. Nah, man, I don't know what you're saying, though. You're starting like a bitch. I just said you're supposed to be a Nashville G letting this bitch run game on you, nigga. She just testing you, nigga. Fuck her. Man, she gonna stalk your ass. You got a fat job, a fat crib, a dog-ass car. Shit, living in broke-ass Detroit. She like four, five, fucking 18 months pregnant, you know? She ain't even trying to do the right thing, the smart thing, and tell me that she's Two months from here or something. She telling me that I'm the only motherfucker that she's been with. What she think I'm fucking stupid? <laughs> That's fucked up. I know that shit's fucked up. That's why I told old girl, take me on the Mori Povich show. I call that shit a night. <laughs> oh, uh, I ain't just gonna be messing around with no chicks. Not for a straight man. Karma's a straight motherfucker and it's set to get me back for real. Alright, y'all. I'll holler at you later. Right. Excuse me, Ma. If you don't mind, could I watch those movies with you tonight? Excuse me? So what'd we get? You mean what movies did I get? I don't know you, why I'm gonna let you watch a movie. Come on, what you got, damn. Ugh, are you impatient? Now how are you gonna come watch a movie and you're being impatient? <sighs> Sorry, I'll work on that. So what do I gotta do to watch those movies with you? I could use some quality company. Okay, so you just drive up and down the street <laughs> looking for random <laughs> booty. Hey, did she bothering you? Nah, nah, he's not bothering me. You sure? All right. Come on, I ain't got nothing to do today. I know you ain't got nothing to do. We should just watch these movies together, get to know each other. How <laughs> you know I ain't got nothing to do? Oh. I was going home. You so slick. You can't do nothing with me. Man, come on. You know you feeling me. I mean, I ain't going to leave you alone, so you might as well just come back to my house and watch these movies just kicking. I need you in my life right now. I need to know me some of you. You are so full of shit. Uh -oh. My house and you sing your ass on the floor the whole that's time. I'm not fucking you, okay? So don't even think it. Get it out your head. <laughs>
Hey girl, what's up? Hey, okay, don't say anything. Just listen to me really quick, okay? I'm the stupidest woman in the world. I slept with some guy I met the first day I met him. He's in the bathroom right now. What? Oh my God. Tisha, are you fucking crazy? I wish I was, girl. I don't know. He just, he was so fucking cool, you know? He said all the right things. Touched me in all the right places. I don't even know his name. I'm gonna think I'm a hoe now. See? <sighs> well, why'd you do it? The Tisha I know doesn't do things like this. Lorraine, maybe, but Tisha, no. I know, I just, well, I haven't had sex in like four and a half years. Can you blame me? Uh, yeah. Yes, I could blame you. He said all the right things. He <laughs> said a whole lot of bullshit, and I knew it was bullshit, but I just met this man this morning. <laughs> I mean, the energy, it was just, it was just so right. He was so cool. Okay, you and your damn energy. What are you gonna do now? I don't know anything about him, that's the thing. I don't know if he works, if he's, you know. He could have a wife, kids. I don't know anything about him. I don't even know his name. Oh, sh I, I gotta go, I'll call you back. So where you gotta go now, huh? It's getting kinda late in the day, you know. Brother's got stuff to do. For real? I mean, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I thought you didn't have anything to do all day. Come on, I gotta go. Damn. You know what? Fuck you. What? Fuck me? Yes, fuck you. <laughs> all right, okay, that's cool, whatever, fuck me. Just forget you ever met me, okay? Lose my number, don't bother to try to get in contact with me. So that's how you're gonna do me? Huh? Yeah, gonna absolutely. Like I never got your number. Fuck you. Just go. Leave. Coming with me? What? Well, I figure it's been about 35 years since you got some booty and I want to <laughs> celebrate or something. You nosy motherfucker. You were listening to my conversation? Actually, you can't whisper what shit. <laughs> she ready to go or what? Hello, I'm Marcus Smalls, but everybody calls me Dooney. Tisha, but it's Tisha. <laughs> For real? For real, quit saying that. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Besides, the water's probably cold by now anyway. <laughs> Now, what were you doing in this whole time? Are you gonna pay for my fucking water bill, man? Now, what did I tell you about all that damn cussing? <laughs>
All I want you to do is be a father to your kid. I am your baby's mama, Dooney. Bitch, you don't know me. Don't you threaten me. You don't know who the fuck I am. Hello? Ugh. Look, I've been meaning to tell you something since we met the other day, so I'm just gonna tell you straight up again. What is it? What do you gotta tell me? Well, I'm feeling you. And I ain't trying to scare you. Man. I know we only known each other a little while. There's some shit we gotta know before we take it any deeper. Yeah. Why are you holding your arms like that? What, I can't pull my arms? I might have a little problem. How little? Stop doing that. So there was this girl that I was messing with before I met you, all right? We was messing around for like, I don't know, two, three months, maybe. And why are you nervous? Why are you coming at me with an attitude? Listen, I'm just gonna tell you flat out, all right? Now she's trying to tell me that she's pregnant. She's saying that I'm the baby's daddy, but there's just, there's no way that I'm the baby's daddy. I mean, I know it Bye. sounds typical. not about to be played by no country ass boy. That is not happening. You know what? I'm sitting here coming at you with some real problems. You know, I, I don't even know what I was thinking. I thought maybe you'd at least try to understand. So I'm just supposed to sit here and believe you? Because I don't even know why I'm tripping. I just met you, right? I don't know you. I don't give a fuck what you do, right? Right? Yeah. All right, that's nice. I mean, you come in here, you tell me, oh, I care about you and all this here, and, and then you tell me you got some crazy ass girl wanting to have your baby. How do I know this isn't your kid? How am I supposed to know that? Just listen, that's what I'm trying to explain, all right? I only known her for a couple of months. She is so damn pregnant, she could go into birth tomorrow and that fucking child come out having a beard. There is no way that it's mine. I am not trying to get caught up in all this drama. Are you going to take a DNA test? You know, you need to go on the Maury show. I hear he does those things for free. No! Why? Why would I ever do that? Are you going to take the test? It is impossible that this baby is mine. What do I have to prove? Come on, listen. She's about five months pregnant. I only known her for about three. There ain't no way this baby's mine. You're scared to take the test. You think that what you're doing is upset me? Because it ain't. Be a man, then. Take the test. You need to just be quiet, because I'm about to call you out for real. <laughs> okay. Just shut the hell up. Call me out, please. I would like to see this. Call me out. Why didn't you mention to me that you had a child? What do you think I am, stupid? I saw those stretch marks. See, I was trying to be cool about it. Wait for you to tell me. You were being cool. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, duty. You're acting kind of funny right now. See, I ain't trying to get caught up in no drama either. Are you ashamed? I mean, did you think that telling me that you had a baby would make me flip out? Everybody got a damn baby nowadays. You sound so stupid right now. Straight stupid. Do you even know who the father was? You should have gone on the Morris show, because I heard they got free tests. Take care of that. I'm not ashamed of my son, yeah, duty. Why the fuck I gotta tell you all my damn business, huh? I don't know you. Yes, I have a child. Yup. And you know what? He's not a baby. He's 14 years old, Dooney. 14. 14? You wanna leave now? You were gonna leave me. That's fair. No, I ain't gonna leave. I came here to talk, so come on, let's talk. His name is Azir. He wasn't home the other night because he was spending the weekend with his granddad on his father's side. 
who's Danny's dead. Died when he was 23. Azir was three then, and I was just about to turn 16. You do the math, and I had Azir when I was 12. I got pregnant the first time I had sex. No, <laughs> we're just hanging out outside my boss house. Yeah, just being a zero right now. <laughs> Stop that. What about you going to the house and talk, queen? I'm gonna have to call you back, Danny. Little boy, we have a problem. Mama. Do we have a problem? Yes, you talking all out. So what, Azir? I talk loud all the time. You've never acted this way before. You talking all loud, I'm trying to talk to you. What's wrong? What, what would you like to say? You have my attention. You didn't have to hang up on him because of me. You could call him back. I could call him back. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, my. Well, what's up? We could talk. Some fucking whack. You fuck on the first day and she got a 22 year old grandson. Didn't he take her out to eat? I, I knew your fat ass was gonna make that point. Come on, man. Oh, shut up. Yo, Stan. Say you know a girl for say two days. Let's say you slept with her already. Let's say you, for the sake of it, decided to stay with the bitch. Even take her out again. What would be the next place you'll take her? So I'll take her ass to the mailbox to get a child support check. He going to meet her family. Come on, man. It ain't nothing like that. Yeah, we're we are just going to stop and see a movie, and then we're going over to mom's crib. It ain't nothing formal. It's nothing like that. Come on. Man, that's whack. And you love her? Oh, man, you making us country boys look bad, man. Real bad shit. What's going on with you? 
I used to look up to you, dog. Not a poster is coming off the wall. Be sure you know what you're getting into, bro. You don't know nothing about them D girls. You see what happened the last time you met one. Come on, you know me. I've been with a ton of ladies. I ain't no sucker. You always date those fat white chicks. Ain't that doing a real system. We need to go watch like Love Jones and like Good Time. Get some pointers, right? Oh, come on. I ain't never been with no white girl. That's your vanilla pivot ass. You love them Euros. Oh, yeah, that is me. So I probably need to watch it myself. I've been trying to get him to get with his sister, dude. But he just ain't going for it. Every time we go somewhere, he find a white girl. We go to a gospel play, he find a white girl. We go to church, he find a white girl. Man, he find white girls, but they ain't got no business being, man. I know when I'm watching Different Stroke, I'm feeling Kim. When I'm watching Different World, I'm feeling the, the chick on the commercial break. So with as hot as it is, why the hell did you bring that damn jacket? Because this is Michigan. You know it's cold. I know that it could become anything at any time. I'm still learning that bullshit. I hate this state. Let me... Fuck! Fucking Jackie! God damn it! I know she did this shit! Oh my god! I'm sorry that you had to see this, baby. Damn it! What do you want me to do? I... I cannot control what that crazy bitch does. And th stop, stop with all that calling. No, you, you're with me. I'll take care of this. Okay. You still want me to get the door? I figure you just jump through the window like the Duke brothers. Really? Are they coming here? Yeah, they should. I think they was They should have been here a long time ago. Goodness. You know how to she is. You know, everybody got to wait on this thing. Goodness gracious. Hey. What's up, sis? Sorry, we're late. We ran into some car problems. It's all good. This is Diddy. Diddy, that's my mom. One of my brothers, Jamil. What's up, Diddy? Hey, don't. You're good. good. Oh. Like, we waited on you. I don't think so. <laughs> but I managed to save a plate for you and your friend. Tish, go in and fix your friend a plate. Tish didn't really tell me what you like to eat. You know, she don't eat like the rest of the normal world. I'll eat anything. I'll, I'll take whatever you got. Oh, okay. Where are you from? I'm from Tennessee. Really? Yeah. How long you been up here in Detroit? Well, uh, about a few months now. Oh, okay. Well, Miss Gourmet Ghetto has some fried pork chops and some fried sausages in there on the stove. We're okay, Ma. This is fine. Uh, well, excuse me, girl. You know, you did a grew up one and it turned out just fine. Ma, I wasn't implying anything. I'm just saying that this is fine. You know, girlfriend used to be the first one to the table and the first one done when she was eating my fried pork chops. Okay, Ma, that was a long time ago, okay? Uh, and now we don't even know her anymore. Did she tell you that she was planning on changing her name? Um, well, ma'am, you don't have to worry nothing about any leftovers. See, I don't, I don't get much home cooking, so I'll just eat whatever you're serving. Hmm. And, and just what do you do, Dooney? Tisha don't usually bring her men friend around this house. Last time she did, she was pregnant. Come uh, on, leave that girl alone. You always start that silly shit. Tired anyway. Should have been up so late. People got here earlier. Never mind it, Ma. Where's the zier? He crossed the street with that boy playing video games. Ma, I told you I don't want him over there. Those kids sell drugs over there, Ma. Look, you don't know that. I do. You need to quit acting like you're better than some everybody else, Miss Thane. Your ghetto behind grew up here just like everybody else. Uh, you need to just leave that girl alone, Ma. You always mess with her every time you come over here. Jamil! Right. Dang. Hey, right, bro, ride with me right quick. Ma, leave that girl alone. You go get that boy from across the street. We'll be back in a minute. And you mind yours. Sure. Yeah, I thought they be tripping. They do that shit all the damn time. Shit. 
Jesus, your mom. Oh, they eat. Yeah. That's Rap for crazy. Dope, man. Go get my dope. All right. So, Tish take after her daddy then. You need to be asking your brother that. That's who you need to be asking. Baby, I am so sorry. Are you Do you know what he did? Do you? Yeah. You ran up in his baby mama house, started acting a damn fool. Yeah, I know what happened. He shot up her house. We were on the way to the fucking store. I thought we was gonna get some liquor, some cigarettes or something. Not no damn kids and a couple kidnapping charges. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm cool. It's been interrogated all damn day long, but I'm cool. You need to be checking on your nephews. Wait, don't tell me what I need to be doing. What the fuck you think I was doing in there this whole time? You think I'm sitting there crying over you? You don't think maybe they asked us some questions while you were in there? Don't tell me what I need to be doing. You know what? I'm gonna take you home, because I'm not gonna be like that, but fuck you for real, Dooney. Fuck you. How was I supposed to know this shit was gonna happen? I mean, that shit hurt me too. That hurts my entire family. Do you want me to stay up here with you? I'm in. No, I'm okay. But thank you. I was just waiting here for you, but I'm ready to go. Do you think maybe you could stay with me tonight? I don't really want to be by myself. There isn't anywhere else I'd rather be than with you. But you have to leave by seven. I don't want Azir to see us. I don't want Azir to see you like that, you know? Pardon my best. <laughs> Why are you so, so silly? <laughs> myself lately. 
this man, he's he's taking me on this crazy roller coaster ride, and I'm not ready to get off. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a real man. That's hard for us to find sometimes, you know. Hard. <laughs> he's just he's so confident, cocky, but sensitive when he needs to be, you know. Mm -hmm. When he touches me, it's like it's like the moon circling the earth. <laughs> hey, I'm being serious now. <laughs> it's like his warmth is my son, you know. And girl, he's got this like country boy rags to riches thing working on, going for him, you know. It's working too. It is working. Well, he's mad too. But he's at the same time he's. Genuine and real. I just want to get to know him better, you know? I want him to know me. Mm. I want him to know my child, to love my child. They met under some um, some unusual circumstances, <laughs> but I think I think it could work. Okay. Every girl, that is intense. I mean, and it's an intensity I wouldn't mind trading, but a good man, a good man, it's hard to find, let alone keep. I think I found it. I'm just, I'm just praying that this happiness doesn't go as quickly as it came. Mm. Just be careful. Don't mix love with infatuation. Please don't. Talk to Baba about it Baba. and pray on it because it's only been a few days and what if he doesn't see things like you do? Tisha, you barely even know where this man lives his favorite color, his mama or daddy, what he believes in, what he feels about children. Mm, that's true. Have you told him anything about you or your spirituality? We haven't talked that uh, about all the specifics like that Sister, yet. <laughs> love is beautiful, yeah. but it's got to be work too. Intense work. They've been working. <laughs> you haven't been with a man in years. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to throw that years. out there? Oh. Asa has never seen you with a man. Uh -huh. Hell, you haven't even seen yourself with a man. Other than this, yeah. Right. Hey, hey. Just be careful. <laughs> sister to sister, I hope everything goes well for you, but do not set yourself up for disappointment. Because, mm -mm. sister, when you love, when you give love, and when we all receive your love, it is beautiful. It is. Mm. Don't rush into something and have the world be cut off from your love for another 10 years. Get Just deep. take your time. Get deep, Gina. Gina, time? Time is all I've been taking. I've been taking my time for 10 years. My time is right now. I'm just saying, get to know the man. Okay? I hear you. Seriously. Seriously, I hear you. Okay, I'm getting spiritual, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tell me about your family. Tell me about your mama. Baby, I don't, I don't want to do this. You don't have a choice. I'm trying to be sexy for my man. I mean, look at me. I, yeah. Tisha, I, Tell me. All right. Um, I don't really know my mom. All that well. She was a prostitute. I'm doing it. My father was her pimp. But we don't we don't have to do this. So you look with your father. Yeah. Yep, Pops raised me. He's originally from New York. Growing up I was untouchable. It was like what Nino Brown's kid would grow up like. So, you sold drugs too? I ran the streets. You know, by, by the time I was in 11th grade, I was living this unbelievable life of luxury. So, I mean, living the life of a monster, I, I did what monsters do, you know? What exactly? did you do? Did you kill people? You're adorable. I did this. I was a gangster. So I did gangster shit. 
Did you kill people, Duty? Just tell me that. We no, talking we about need here. No, no, we need to just chill out. All right, we're. It's time to concentrate on you now. What? How did you make it with the baby when you were so young? I'm not sure that I did. What do you mean? I mean, Azir's daddy was really good to me. It's like something about our relationship changed, you know? He was like more into raising Azir and me. He gave me a lot of books to read. I was just, I was so impressed with him, the way he would speak, you know? It sounds like you still love him. Please. I mean, my relationship with Wendell, that was a mistake. No, you're, you're right. It's just the way you were talking about him, you know, was, you're making him sound like he was God's gift. And he, he was 20. And you, you, you weren't. I, it, he, I mean, he, he took advantage of you. I know. I'm not saying what he did was right. You know, I'm just speaking of after the fact, the way it was. I mean, what he did to me, it, it was fucked up. He had, he had my head so fucked up that, I mean, I went into state custody over that shit. That's, yeah. It's, you went into state custody? Yeah. Yes, I did. For five long years. Five, for five years? I'm sorry. I don't know why I did what I did. But you know what I do know? I love you. I love you so much that it's scary. You want to know something crazy? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You're the most stable thing that I have ever known. You're the closest thing to normal that I've ever met. Normality? Is that what you're chasing? If that's what you're chasing, man, you're more fucked up than I thought. You know what? I'm done getting to know you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your friend, Tisha. Gina. Mm -hmm. We've been through this. Right. It's nothing. He's just this guy that I met. Girl, love between two people is never just nothing. Is that what we're dealing with? I mean, he's cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all are serious about each other, right? I don't know, Gina. We're still, we're getting a feel for each other. Girl, well, how does he feel about us here? We've only known each other for a few weeks at the most. I just don't want to force anybody onto his ear. But Tisha, 
you gain this man, your body and your soul. I mean, why isn't your soul enough? Of course, look, the relationship between you two might work out, but it's not just about you. You have to think about that. I know, you're right. I know. But it's like at this point, even though what I did was crazy, irresponsible, yeah, all I can do now is try to make it work. I can't undo it. Are you going to bring him to the event tonight? Everything happened so fast. I kind of, I forgot to mention it to him. But anyway, he's going over to Wands yeah. tonight with his ear to watch the fight. See? See yeah. how I'm trying? Yeah. Just bring him. Just make sure he gets there because I want to meet him. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, dear no. It's your little boyfriend. Ew! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's funny. You know he went to school with my brother. So he was once regular. Girl, now he's standing out there patrolling the culture center like a soldier or something. Yeah. And looking for you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't hate because he's got some Whatever. good taste. He's got some <laughs> mighty good taste. That's your boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> okay. Detroit. Stand up. Kill Will do it. Salute me, nigga. You know what I'm about. Got the goons in the tools. You don't want me bringing out. I run this city. Run this city. I run this city. Clearly. Salute me, nigga. You know what I'm about. Got the goons in the tools. You don't want me bring them out. I run this city. Run this city. I run this city. I'm running clearly. Yeah. Detroit, Detroit, that's my home okay. Where you can get smoked like homegrown Put a hole in that boy like the ozone right. And I like the way she doing it like Tone Tone It ain't hard to tell, guess I'm about my mail Flow sick, hot sick, yeah sick as cell Have all everything, he don't even use a scale My teacher said I wouldn't make it, look I'm rich as hell Rich as hell? Yeah, I took a different angle. Uh -huh. Money make them disappear like Chris Angel. Church of Cincinnati, like I play for the Bengals. Right. And I'm back to my city unwrapped like an ankle. <laughs> I think cow when they talk beef. Yeah, and Walton Boy when they talk streets. <laughs> Nigga, uh, Detroit. That's mine. mine, and I'll be here to the end like a street sign. Salute me, nigga. You know what I'm about. Got the goons in the tools. You don't want me bring them out. I run this city. Run this city. I run this city. Clearly. Salute me, nigga. You know what I'm about. Got the goons in the tools. You don't want me bring them out. I run this city. Run this city. I run this city. Clearly. Get it. Get away from my car. Touch me. Do not, don't, don't touch my car. Oh, you think you so fucking cute, Dooney. Listen, baby, all I want you to do is be a father to your kid. That's all I'm asking you to do. That's fucking crazy. For real. Look, look how big your stomach is. You're about to burst any minute. There ain't no way this is my baby. This is your fucking baby, Dooney. You the only one I was with. The oh, only one I've been God, with. You can stop with all that one bullshit unless one is plural and slut knees. Listen, baby, all I'm asking Ugh. you to do is be a father to your kid. Why are you doing me like this? Fuck Come on, you. baby, you don't have to do me like this, do me. You are crazy. All I want you to do is be a fucking oh, father to God your kid. Damn. Am I asking for don't too much? To All crazy, I want you to do is be a father to your kid. Oh, you can't be fucking serious. Are you going to leave me like this? Your son, your own flesh and blood, Dooney? My sister, let me, let me talk to my man. Excuse me, sir. Brother. I'm trying to pull out. Could you sir. please move? Young brother, can I talk to you? Young brother, you have disrespected yourself, disrespected this young lady, disrespected the whole community. You got everybody out here looking. Oh man, you do not know the whole story. Could you please stay out of my business? Now move! Young brother, this baby is part of the community. This baby will always be part of this community. I believe you owe this young lady a apology, this sister a apology. It is your baby, Zuni! A junior! A boy! Do you even care? It's your baby! A junior! Sister, a boy! All you have to do is apologize. Are you just gonna get leave like that? Get your back, sister. Get back, sister. You just gonna leave like that? Get your back, sister. Alright. I'll see how it is. Whack, man. Oh, man. You terrible. Yeah, well, fuck you then! 
What do you think I did? I hit that old motherfucker. Nah, nah, I'm just playing. You know, I just, I tried to get him to move and just pull out. I mean, I don't know. I was trying to be cool about the whole situation, but I felt like everyone was vilifying me. I just got gone fast as I could. That's some crazy shit. You hear anything else from that chick? No. All this shit just happened today. Do you think I should apologize? I mean, come on, uh, for real. She already flattened your ties like a white girl ass, man. She got the whole city thinking you Sean Kemp. Abandoning your kid and shit. Man, fuck her. Hey, man, why don't you just go to the doctor with her one time, man? You know what I'm saying? Find out what the conception day was, my nigga. And, you know, make sure the doctor sit right in front of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably scare her ass back there senses, you know what I'm saying? She was trying to shoot game on you, my nigga. Believe me. Man, fuck that bra. You a Nashville G. Just kind of explain to her. Look, baby. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations on the pregnancy. Hope you find your baby daddy. I wish you the best. Have a nice life and get the fuck on. You know what, Chris? Yeah, I'm gonna try and do that. I think I'm gonna go up there with her. You know? I've been dogging old girl out. You feel like you ain't got no reason to dog her out. Look, man, you start being nice to her now, she gonna start acting crazy, I'm telling you. Shit, I know crazy hoes, man. I, I, shit, I made half of them crazy. Man, you tripping. All right, thanks, fellas. I, I, I needed that. Thank you so much for the heads up, but I'm gonna get going. All right. Yep, yeah, for sure, my nigga. Peace. Hey, 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 hold on, brother, for one moment, okay? Hey, do you remember me from this morning? Yes, I do, sister. Oh, I just want to tell you, I really appreciate what you've done for me. You know, my ex fiance can be a real jerk sometimes. Oh, yes, sister. I'm so glad you can make it today. I'm glad you invited me. Glad you come out to our Audi. Baba, what did you do? Never mind me. Where's your engineer friend? Is he coming up to the Audi today? Yeah, girl. Where is the Zuni we're hearing so much about? Smelly and good. Honestly? Yeah, honestly. I don't like you. You don't like me? What are you surprised by? You think you're gonna run through my mama? Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't have to. Well, nigga, you need to hold on before I put it. Look, you got every right not to like me. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I like your mama, for real. You know, spending some time bonding with my son. I told you guys. Okay. I'm sorry, did you say Dooney? What's going on between your mama and I is moving kind of fast. And us getting together like this may not have been the best idea your mama ever had. But we're here now. We'll just make this happen. Is he supposed to be here tonight? No, he's not going to be here. Oh, I would love to meet him. I know your mom and I have known each other only for a little while, but I ain't trying to be your daddy. A cool relationship, however, would be nice. I think that's a really unique name, that's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does have a unique name. Girl, I think so. I mean, I've never met anybody named Duty before, you know? Yeah, and that's an engineer. Yeah. I bet you don't even want to be here with me. Honestly? Yeah, honestly. Hell no. I'm just gonna try to be hard. I am hard. Yeah, I would love to meet him. Could you drive me over to my grandma's house? I'm kind of tired. You want to hang out no more? It's going to be awkward with me and you and my uncle. They might bring some soldiers and stuff. Just go and hang out with my uncle and maybe I'll see him. Uh, yeah, well, looks like things is getting ready to get started, so, uh, Yeah, you're right, but I gotta go check out this fight. So what I'll do is I'll drop you off 
I'll check on you in about an hour or something, see if you're ready to come back out. Look, I was in the wrong, and I'm sorry. It was wrong of me being over the way that I was the other day. I wanted to apologize to you, man to man. This next piece is called Colors of My Soul. They say the eyes are the pathway to a person's soul. It represents not only the madness and anger left within me from my days as a child, it also portrays my naughty ways and layman terms, my inner wild. This color makes my body crave flesh and it makes me concentrate on good versus evil, taking over my mind, preventing my soul from a much needed rest. The blood color of my soul is the one that yearns to be seen, the color that craves attention and seeks to retrieve it by any and all means. The untamed color that vicariously stands out in the crowd as it fights demons to secure the blessings bestowed upon me. The darkest of all is the color black. And when my soul projects the darkness, I'm bound to attack everything within my sight or reach. You see? Within the darkness, there is no light to be found, and my thoughts are not sound, but I'm ready to devour any enemy, foe, or foreign object that stands around me. Hey, he knocking this nigga out in the third round. Guaranteed, he knocking this nigga out in the third round, nigga. Yeah, we'll see. You, Watch, nigga. Hello. What's up? Looks like I'm missing shit already, man. What's up, niggas? Yeah, what's up? Shit. Why I told me a lot about you. For real? This nigga saying. Hell yeah. I mean, I heard you fucking fly ass Tisha. I mean, I used to want to fuck her so bad in high school. Man, don't really take this nigga too serious. He just fucking with you, bro. Yeah, have a drink. I mean. All us niggas in this room were the fuck Tisha. And we still do. Not me, nigga. Tell me something. What is it like to fuck her? I know you fucking her because you wouldn't be here if you wasn't fucking her. Azir already told us you was fucking her. He already told us this shit. So that's what he told us. Yeah, that's what the fuck he told us. He told us all that. Look, man, his father told us if anything happened, take care of him. He told us that. Azir, that's my little nigga. That's my motherfucking heart. That's my heart. You got me? You got that? Here come your rich ass. And fuck her in a few days. And then right in front of the little nigga face? Y'all be fucking kidding me, man. So then I know what's gonna happen. No. Y'all gonna beat my ass. Yeah, motherfucker. Turn your bitch off. Turn your bitch off. You bitch fucking kidding me. Get the fuck up. Go. Get the fuck. Get your little ass over there. You fucking faggot ass motherfucker. Get the fuck in that fucking corner. Turn around. Turn the fuck around. Who the fuck do you think you're looking at? Get in that fucking corner. What the fuck? Fucking goddamn. You think I come in this motherfucker blind and stupid? Then what happened? I wasn't scared of none like that. I mean, this shit was a setup. Anyone could have smelled that shit a mile away. They was talking shaggy from jump. Man, I ain't been there five seconds. I felt that shit. You know what? I think that little nigga Asir set me up too. He knows I know too. They's talking all this mad shit, but they was just little, man. Oldest one had to been about, I don't know, 22? What? Some little niggas? 22? They ain't got no guns or nothing. No guns? I thought I was gonna get blasted. Them motherfuckers got straight shook. People just don't know, do they? What you need, man? If I just need you come out here for a minute, you know. Fucking tour Detroit. Is they gonna know it's you? You think I give a fuck? Shit, they might know. But they're gonna know what happened to them 
happened. They're gonna know why this shit happened to them. Smartest thing these motherfuckers do is act like somebody else did it. My nigga, I don't care if they know we did it. We fucking them up. Shit, I knew my nigga wanted that no pussy get him saw. That's my nigga. Shit, my nigga. It's too bad y'all gonna be in the D. I won't be able to hang out with y'all, my niggas. Shit, this shit, don't even worry about it. We got you, boss. I'm taking it back to the old days, I see. Show my bare arms. Get your guns up. Get your get your guns up. Get your guns up. Get your get your guns up. Get your guns up. Get your get your guns up. Get your get your guns up. Get your guns up. Get your get your guns up. Okay. I'm locked and loaded. I'm going in. Yeah. Have them staring down my fucking barrel. Okay. Bullets come in threes. threes. You can have several. Woo. Nine millimeter rocks. The bullets heavy metal. That's right. Jackie, you notice some bullshit. Hi, hi. Beth, first time seeing you here. Nice to join us. Jackie, how are you feeling? Great. Great, good. Looks like I'm getting ready to explode. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Well, the results are in. Looks like you're about 23, 24 weeks. So I need you to slow it down. I know your schedule's hectic. I need you to... So 24 weeks. That's about six months. Yeah, I found some in six months. All right, thanks, Doc. You're a lifesaver. Where is he going? Did you drive separately? Duty. Baby, what are you doing here? I wasn't feeling well, so I came to the clinic. What are you what are you doing? Yeah, you should have called. I could have given you a ride. I'm fine. I know the hell you didn't just straight up embarrass me like that. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Hey. Bitch. Ah! Bitch! Ah! Oh hell no. Then Tisha straight tackle her. She tackled. Like Ray Lewis tackling shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Bitch crazy, man. I ain't got no idea what to do. She ain't talking to me at all. She won't turn on my calls. I told you, man. I told you. Fuck that bitch. Man, you should never went to the doctor that broad, man. That's some fucked up shit to be dealing with, my nigga, for real. I feel you on this one. Well, you all told me to. Man, I was taking y'all damn advice. Nah, you was taking that dumb nigga advice. I told you it was popping. Hey, man. Hey, hey, it is what it is, bro. Since I met old girl, just this shit just won't stop. You thought that shit was going to change because you went to Detroit, man? You always been in the middle of bullshit. I care about this girl, man. For real, I really want this shit to work out. Is he still calling you? Are you going to answer? No. What's in this? Baby, I've been yeah. trying to call you at home. I've been calling you to work. I've been coming by your house and all day. It doesn't seem that you're yeah. anywhere. You know you're going to have to face him one day. Mm. You at least owe him that much. I mean, come on. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Everything just got so messed up. I should listen to you. We just weren't right for each other. And that whole, the incident at the doctor's office, it was just, that was just the breaking point. Yeah, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. But everything happened so fast. I mean, Look at me. Look! Tisha, breaking up with this man is one thing, but keeping him from even knowing he has a child is another. You guys don't understand. Yes, we do. No, you don't. Do. 
Who wants a chick with two kids? Yeah. Okay, now you just making excuses. I only knew him for a few months. But I do know that he's not ready to be a dad. I've had six months to get used to doing this on my own. I can't put Azir through anymore. He can't take anymore. I have to start doing what's right for us. What's right for us right now. What do you want, Jackie? Hey, Donny. Donny, wait. Don't trip. I'm only here to apologize. I really feel like I owe you an apology, Donny. I'm sorry for how everything went down, okay? Donny, all I really wanted you to do is respect me. Look, I'm trying to apologize to you. Now, I came to you as a friend just to tell you I was pregnant, and you, you rejected me. You started talking crazy like, it ain't mine, you better call Murray. Talking all crazy. Look, I make way more money than you, okay? It's not like I wanted something from you. All I wanted was somebody to talk to. And when you rejected me, I had to make you suffer. Well, mission accomplished. Thanks, Jackie. Well, first of all, you don't make any more money than I do. Look, there are a lot of things that I did that I wasn't proud of, so I'm sorry. I really haven't been myself or anyone that I'd like to be lately. I mean, that's cool. As long as you can forgive me, you know, for any trouble I may have caused between you, your girlfriend, or your baby. <laughs> uh, Asir is not my son. Um, we was just getting to know each other. Asir? Dang, she named the baby already? What are you talking about? I mean, she's pregnant, Dooney. At least that's what they say at the women's clinic. You know, your baby. Your kid. Damn it. God. All right. You know what? Thanks, Jackie. I, uh, you know what? Lock up when you leave. Don't be stealing Dooney, none of my where shit. where are you going? And I saw that baby. Don't look nothing like me. Uh. raised us here. Ma. When you were off to college, when you were locked up, where was us here? I'm not saying that you were. Then what the hell are you saying? That boy's daddy didn't step up. Did he? Did he? He came to visit me. That's something you never did. 
He was there for me, Mama, when you weren't. He helped me. Mama, I was your child. And I was raising yours. You want to give that African man all the credit just because he filled out some financial aid papers. Was he here changing diapers? No, Tisha, I was. You could have come home, but you didn't want to. Girl, your head is screwed. You need to love you. I am really sorry about your bad childhood, but did I tell you to mess with that boy? Do you think I would let anything happen to a seer? What is between us is between us. Well, I said foster homes and group homes. Year after year after year. I felt like I was rotting in there. I needed you. I gave you what I could. I backed you the best that I knew how. You did not go to foster care because I beat you. You went to foster care because you were pig-headed, defiant. You left. You wouldn't give that boy up or say anything about him and the state felt that we could not protect you from him. Girl, you need to grow up and take responsibility for what you do. That is your child in my house taking advantage of a situation. Tish, you are here, but that's your family, your problems. Warm it up and handle yours. You solve it. You! Honestly, I, I could still pay. Glad you didn't. If you need to take it easy. With the baby and all, I would talk to him. Why don't you still let him go over here with all the problems that they give I don't know, I guess. I grew up not knowing them. I don't want to put a zero to that, you know? Are you bringing us here tomorrow? Oh yes, oh yes, his little ass is on straight lockdown. <laughs> but do you really believe he didn't do anything? I don't know, he just seemed like such a liar to me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He was acting just the way my brother acts. I think that's what pissed me off the most, you know? Did I ever tell y'all why I had to remove my daughter from her school? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What happened? Some little girl was, was feeling on her during lunch. A little girl? Oh she was only 11. And how old is your daughter now? 10. Oh. What's going on? Baba, we are becoming slaves to our wants and our pleasures. We are forgetting who we are. Slaves of our lower selves. I don't even want to talk about it. Baba, you have to talk about it. You're going to talk to Azir, right? He's your son. You talk to him. Mm -hmm. generation crazy. He needs a male perspective on this, okay? He won't listen to me. He's he's like so busy trying not to get caught by me doing all the sneaky stuff he's been doing. I talked to him. Thank you. Bring me here tonight. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh. 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 It's so fresh and I'm clean. So let's keep it right there up in my jeans and I'm fly. What the fuck? Man, I'm looking and I'm feeling like a million bucks. I'm fresh and I'm clean. So let's keep it right there up in my jeans and I'm fly. What the fuck? Man, I'm looking and I'm feeling like a million bucks. I'm fresh and I'm clean. So let's keep it right there up in my jeans and I'm fly. What the fuck? Man, I'm looking and I'm feeling like a I know that they're closed, but is Tisha in? I need to talk to her. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck do you think you're doing? That ain't your son! Hey.
Snoop me, nigga. You know what I'm about. Got the goons and the tools. You don't want me bring them out. I run this city. Run this city. I run this city. Clearly. Salute me, nigga. You know what I'm about. Got the goons and the tools. You don't want me bring them out. I run this city. Run this city. I run this city. Clearly. Get out of here. <laughs> 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 What's up, Lucia? Can I talk to your mom? Listen, did you set me up? Dude, what happened to your face? You ain't gotta worry nothing about that, I'm fine. I told you the truth. I told my uncles not to jump you. I swear, I don't know what happened. So you're saying you didn't set me up? No, I swear. Lucia already told us you was fucking his mom. Do they think that I jumped in? I don't know. We don't talk about that. And jump your uncle. But those dudes is bad news. You need to stop hanging out with them. You hear that my mom's pregnant? That's why you're here? Yeah, she's a boy, man. I'm trying to find her. Is she here? No, she's not home. Thanks, baby. Let me see. Pregnant? And who is the baby's daddy this time? You leave with him? Yes. Look at you walking around all high and mighty and you aren't any better than any of the other girls. I got pregnant the first time I had sex. What does this duty say? Two kids, no daddy. All that shit up in the culture center ain't helping nobody, least of all you. Tish, right now you're confused and angry. This man need to know about his child. I am leaving with him. What time will you be back? Don't be having all these different niggas around my grandchildren. Do the right thing, Tish. Damn. What? You're just a baby yourself. At least this time, hit his ass up for child support. She's pregnant. I think that's why she's been avoiding me. Nigga, how old are you? Oh, man. You a father? Hell no. Nah. For real, I'm telling you, so. Tonight's the night. So what you gonna do? You gonna marry? I tell you this, though. You better cuss her ass out. I, I ain't gonna propose. I ain't gonna cuss nobody out. I'm just gonna go ahead and straight up tell her how I feel. If she ain't with it, then, you know, fuck it. It's my family. Whether I like it or not. That's some crazy shit, man. But at the same time, hey, it is what it is, my dude. It ain't like you did something wrong, man. I'm telling you. It's just, it's been way too long. Tonight's the night for this. Do me a favor, right quick, though. 
Smack somebody. Shit, anybody. Oh, all right. No, no, no. I, I got you. I got you, my nigga. I would whip the old man's ass. Man, you lying. Knowing you, you probably got your ass beat, bro. Libations, as many of you know, is our way of remembrance. To show and pay homage to our ancestors. We do this to show them that we love them and to show them that we honor them. You don't think you're moving too fast? It just matter. We've been through a lifetime of shit in just a few days. I think slowing this down would be slowing my blood flow. And after that, you can call out the names of whichever deities you pay homage to. After every name called, we're going to say Ashe. Ashe is a way of saying Amen. It's our confirmation. I pour libations from Mother Africa for all species and ancestors known and unknown. Ashe. Ashe. I pour libations for my grandmother. Ashe. Ashe. I pour libations for Malcolm X. Ashe. Ashe. I pour libations for Martin Luther King. Ashe. Ashe. She is bad. Total opposites in career and jobs, stuff like that, but just twins in the soul. It's my serious bag, brothers, and I'm gonna enjoy her as long as I can. You feel me? You up the chain with this bro. Dig that. Now brothers, sisters, please. Now that point leads to a very interesting question. What's next for us women? Where do we go from here? We need to understand that many of our men are not men. Mm. These are boys. A real man wouldn't allow his sister or his daughter to be half-dressed in videos for lustful purposes. A real man wouldn't allow his wife to raise their children alone. A real man wouldn't allow his mother to be beaten and disrespected. Real men wouldn't do that. No. There are countries that, we, that our ancestors come from that have bred real men. Mm -hmm. They fought wars over their women. These boys don't even know where the battlefield is. It works both ways, ladies. Women nowadays will put a restraining order on a man like it ain't nothing. Women nowadays will cut a child out of a man's life and in the same breath sue another man for child support over a baby that ain't even his. I thought that I was with the real one. I know that I was with a real woman. But she set my soul on fire. But she defined me. Hell, she still defined me. She ain't talked to me in months. Do you? I miss you, baby. I'm so lonely without you. You made me realize that I've always been lonely. Well, women, y'all need to step it up. Because we act like little girls, it's when we act like little boys. But it's worse, because we are always little boys. We are so scared and so lost without you. So when you act silly, that's when we act like deadbeat fathers and niggerish baby daddies. Women, y'all need to elevate. I'm a man. Look at me. You don't want to get cut up in a bed. Look, duty. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the baby. I just couldn't face you, okay? No. No, it's not all right. We're gonna make it, as long as we're together. I love the fact that we're having this baby. And I love the fact that we're gonna be able to do it. We just have to be together. I 
can't be with you, Duty. Can't you understand that? No. No, I can't. This whole thing, we were a mistake, Duty. Look at everything that's happened. One day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be sick of the drama and I cannot put his ear and this baby through that. Put them through what? Me, me cutting out like that? Why would you say something like that? Look what you did to that girl. Who knows what else you've done, Duty? I don't know you and you don't know me. This whole thing is fucked up and you know it. What I, look what you did to this other girl. Come on, babe. You, you're gonna stand there and look me in the face, honestly. You tell me that you don't know who I am. You have such an amazing way with words. I can't compete with that, Duty. You're a smooth talker, I definitely know that. And that's all you know? Did you ever kill anybody? You're just talking crazy now, come on. Sell drugs to kids? Yes, you already know that. Rob people? Did you jump my brother? Yes, and yes, but... You don't know the whole story. He deserved that. I just sleep on that. I don't. That's funny. Because when you sleep with me, I can't seem to wake you up. It's because we're together. Maybe when I'm with you, I'm at peace. I feel like I can forgive myself. Like I can honestly repent. Dude, you just got this stuff going on. Don't you dare put this on me. You have your hang-ups too and you're, you're scared. I know that. I get it. But if this isn't what you want, there isn't anything that I can do. So is this how it's gonna be? Yeah, I guess. Just, just call me or something. Tisha, do you still love me? Love's not the issue, dude. I've always loved you. I'm just, I'm scared. I'm confused, and I can't drag you into this, this whole thing. I can't. How am I not already a part of this? I know you're confused. I'm confused as hell. Tisha. Come back to me. probably said the right thing when you were selling drugs to the crackheads, when you were killing people and having people killed, okay. when you were jumping my brother. Just try to say goodbye to him. Please just let me say goodbye. Mary. Dooney, stop! Who the hell's gonna come to our wedding, Dooney? My brother? Your father the pimp? Your crackhead friend? My mother? You still ain't talked to her yet? No, dog. Not for a few months now. Hey, where's Chris? Chris got a job. Shit, part of his probation is he gotta get a job, man. God damn, I just cannot imagine you two working, brother. Shit, I've been working over a year now, man. I'm trying to get my shit together. Oh, come on with that bullshit. You are in the streets every night. Shit, hey, morning. That's part of my shit, nigga. For real. Hey, how's your daughter doing, man? She still won't let me see it, though, man. She mad. 
Boy, you better work that shit out. Shit, I will, man. You do the same, bro. No, I didn't even like that. I'm just trying to give her some space, you know? I ain't gonna never leave my kid. Shit, women to kick your ass out when you leave? They say you ain't never there. When you trying to come back, shit, it's like... They say they fine and shit, and they can do it without you. Got this far without you. I'm about to get me a drink for real. I'm telling you. Shit, at the end of the day, man, I'm through trying to figure bitches out, man. I'm telling you. Women, they be a piece of work. Nah, man. Just a piece of ass. Now, see, that's why you don't see your daughter, dog. Man, fuck you. Hey, hold on. I got another call. Wait one second. Hold on. Hello? Yes, may I speak with the Marcus Small? Excuse me, who is this? Um, I need to speak with the Marcus Smalls. This is Marcus. Uh, hi, my name is Helena. I am the midwife for Tisha. Midwife? And she's in labor. Oh, oh, uh, what hospital? She's at home. She needs you to get here right now. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, um, I'm on my way. And now the color yellow comes in. And it, it makes me realize how good I am when I'm doing what I do best. It lights the path for me to write, and now I can see the enemy who stands behind me preparing for an attack or fight. The color that brings sound judgment to my soul when the darkness put me in that detrimental state. Yellow. Yellow is the color of my soul when I'm alone and I zone into my poetic place. It gives me serenity and such unconditional faith. I'm sorry, the door was just open, so I can act like. Who we'll closed the door, don't we? Oh, I'm sorry. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Thank you very much. She's upstairs. Oh, okay. Uh, um, is Baba upstairs? No, oh, he had a prior engagement. Oh. Later. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Don't trip. Just relax. It's almost over. You're having a baby. Yeah. Yes, we are. I'm so sorry. No, no, baby. No, no, no. Just let's do this. Or something why she's so calm. Oh no, she's fine. Shouldn't we be in a hospital or something? Why are we? We are where we need to be. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I ain't never sleeping in this bed again. <laughs> I'm moving you and the seer and our baby back home with me. Can we maybe talk about this later? Can you try to have a baby? Yes, we can talk later. Just you promise that we will talk. Are you gonna take back your proposal? You know what? If you don't promise, yes, yes, I will. And I promise. We have a lot to talk about. We're not a very functional couple. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> She's having another contraction.
You want to know something crazy? <laughs> okay. Uh, you're the most stable thing that I have ever known. You are the closest thing to normal that I've ever met. Get away, Miss Fly, the friendly skies, a taste of paradise awaits for me and you. Just us two. You don't have to worry. Can you take control of Who wants to see the baby? I do. And now the color green comes in, and it. It makes me realize that there's a bigger picture. Green makes me keep my eye on the prize as it makes me realize that my lyrical expressions all but remain to be seen. I see nothing but goodwill and fortune when my soul turns the color green. It makes me chase down, capture, and hold on tightly to all my dreams. No unlike person can possibly know what a joy to my soul this color brings. These are the colors. Young beat, what? Let's get it. Get your guns up, bum. Get your funds up. I'ma make it rain. Watch this lane, pick the ones up. Puss street smart, no diploma, no GD, no real American gangster, no DT. No. Killer for hire, mo hits, and Shania Twain. Hundred round clip, you get hit with the entire thing. When I shoot, I can't stop. Cock back and fire, bang. Caught him slipping at the brake shop, getting this tire challenge. Shooting it out like the Lakers and the Suns. Well, I'm a full time felon. Ain't no papers on these guns. Headshots. I ain't shooting for the calves like LeBron do. Now your father trying to save his son life, John Q. The next day, your family mourning like Alonzo. I'm a legend, you ain't even got a name, John Doe. Now put your fist down, put your guns up. I got a hundred rounds for any clown and try to run. Yeah. Get your guns up. Get your guns up. I don't want to get inside your mind. Can we spend some time? I want to get inside your mind. Can you went to mine? When you walked in, you didn't notice me. A blind date, but I knew that you were there for me. We walked up to the counter, take your order, please. You got that hot macchiato with the I love your conversation and your pretty smile You drove up in the Beamer, really love your style You had to go, but I'm wishing you would stay a while Forever is a clever, can I pull your file? Can I get